Um, so, uh, as was mentioned, I'm an academic technology consultant at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, and one of the many hats that I wear as a consultant is uh, as part of the ENGAGE program. What the ENGAGE program is, is um, it's the intersection between teaching, learning, research, and instructional technology. And we offer a series of awards programs. Um, you can see some of the ones that we've done in the past, technology enhanced collaborative group work, simulations and games, digital media assignments. We also have a significant amount of energy put into the evaluation of each one of those awards. What the awards are is they're small grants or very large grants depending on the award and they consist of teams of consultants, instructional designers, graphic designers, librarians, evaluators, and content experts. What I want to talk to you about today specifically is one of our upcoming awards which is Situated Learning and some of the tools and resources we've created around that. Um, essentially what Situated Learning is, is you can see we have some tools we've developed, the Case Scenario Critical Reader Builder, we've created another one called ARIS, and they try to help um, instructors facilitate the integration of technology and the creation of these learning objects for situated learning. So here's the situation. Unlike once upon a time, we're finding that here's the situation opens up a variety of affordances for students. Primarily, it allows them to explore real world challenges, engage and participate in a the process. They make decisions with expert feedback. The content is made more relevant um, and offers deeper learning and reflection. Here's what some of these scenarios and simulations look like. Um, essentially, we talk about roles and goals. You as a student, what's your role and what's your goal? So in this case, right off the bat, here's the situation. You are a doctor. You have very critical decisions that you have to make. In this case, this scenario, um, very much like a gonger here, you have someone who's got very specific time restraints on what you have to do and the decisions that you have to make. And as you begin to get deeper and deeper into the scenario, you get feedback, expert feedback from the doctors themselves who are kind of integrating themselves into what the students are um, going through as they make their decisions. They all follow this sort of format. Here in this case, you are a volunteer and you are studying uh, this outbreak of a rare disease in Bangladesh. You need to learn a lot about the culture, understand the environment, understand what it means to be an epidemiologist, and then, once you get into this, you can start working with experts to then analyze uh, the data that you're going to have to work with to make these critical decisions. Um, in this case, uh, we have another one here um, in one of our financial uh, offices where it's working primarily with um, very difficult decisions for uh, financial transactions. And right away, as you go through this, you get this expert feedback that comes in and says, hey, good call. You get some points. Well, the tools give you either points or they branch based on how you're doing in the scenario. So there's all kinds of mechanisms that we've developed inside the tools that allows for a student to get real-time expert feedback, and we think that that's essential. Um, so you can see here's a variety of these. They're all from different disciplines. We've used them in nursing. We've used them in... Um, French and Italian, et cetera. The tools are an easy on-ramp. What I want to talk about now is the methodology, because that's the tricky part. So what we've created are the seven C's of case scenario design. Content, context, challenges, characters, choices, consequences, and connections. And our instructors, if they sit down and kind of go through this, can start to put in the storification of their content. First one is content. Are you teaching concepts? Are you teaching facts, principles, procedures? And through that, the student is going to gain knowledge and experience. The context, we want it to be authentic. We want to have rules and customs in the environment play into what they're doing. The challenge is, is it a task, a goal, a mission? So what is the criteria that the student has to meet? Variety of characters, pedagogical agents, things that move the student forward through. Choices, you have to have decisions, judgments, alternatives, receive feedback on that, and the consequences. It has to be something that the students feel compelled to be a part of. Um, in addition, then you have to have connections. How are you gonna connect that back to the 
uh, assignment? Is it going to be uh, some sort of debriefing discussion, maybe students blog about it, et cetera? And what we do is we have our instructors fill out this little worksheet. It's not in linear order. And thank you very much.